Without a doubt, Mexico is one of the best countries in the world for pocket-friendly street food. Every traveler's delight. However, just like the rest of Mexican food, they vary according to the region. Each destination you visit has its specialties, but a few staples are found across the country, and some are definitely worth traveling to try in their place of origin. With that in mind, here are the top 10 Mexican street food you should definitely sample on a trip to Mexico. You'll be surprised to see what I found for number one. Let's get started. Number 10, tortas. Tortas are what Mexicans eat as a sandwich. And because Mexicans believe a sandwich is made with sliced bread, I don't suggest you refer to torta as a sandwich when buying one. A torta is made on a crusty bun called a bollillo. It usually comes with bean paste on one side of the bun and mayo on the other. Then meat fillings, and slices of tomato, pickled jalapenos, and avocado are added. The torta has a few variations. In Puebla, be sure to try a semita, which is produced with a particular type of bread roll called semita, and a papalo, a fragrant herb. Then there's pombazos, which is found in Mexico City, and are filled with potato and a spicy sausage known as chorizo, before it is dipped in warm red gajillo chili sauce and fried. Pombazos are made with pombazo bread, from which it is named, and doesn't have a crusty shell like the bolillo. While in Guadalajara, the torta ahogado is a sandwich filled with meat and served drowned in hot sauce. Number 9. Sopas and Gorditas A wide variety of Mexican street foods are made from corn and are filled with different fillings and toppings. They are usually freshly made and cooked in a big griddle, griddle or skillet, fired by wood and sometimes gas powered. One of such is sopas and gorditas. Sopes, or little goodies, as they're called locally, are corn discs a little thicker than a regular tortilla, and topped with cheese and beans, and possibly other ingredients, and most importantly, salsa. Gorditas are just like sopas. They are discs made of corn, but ingredients like beans, chicharron, pork rind, or cheese are added to the masa, a whitish dough made from ground corn, water, and lime, before it goes on the grill, or it is cut open like a pita, a type of round flatbread, to add ingredients inside to make a pocket and stuff, or sometimes both. Number 8. Tamales Tamales are not only popular and loved in Mexico, but they are also loved by many all over the world. They feature a filling and are wrapped in corn-based masa dough and cooked in corn husks or banana leaf wrapper. The filling usually includes mole or salsa with chicken, or sometimes rajas, which are strips of poblano chilies with some onion and tomato. The word tamal, which is the singular form of tamales, is a word that comes from the Nahuatl word, meaning wrapped. There are two varieties of tamale, sweet and savory. Some are spicy, while some are bland. The variety that has pork or chicken are the most popular, along with the ones known as rajas, which are strips of poblano chili pepper and cheese. They are one of the safest foods to try for novices, as they are stored in a steam vat while being sold. The first recorded set of tamales to be made dates back to the 1550s, when the Spanish were served the meal by the Aztecs, who made them with beans, chilies, and meat. Number 7. Carnitas Carnitas are mouth-watering carnitas. That might sound confusing, but since carnitas literally mean little meats, you should know what I mean. They are an affordable, flavorful dish made primarily from the front sections of pork or pork shoulder that is braised, grilled, or slow-cooked in the pork's fat for ample time until fully tender and succulent. They originated from the Mexican state of Michoacan. The heat is then turned up to make the meat crispy on the outside and can be shredded. They are often served with tortillas with salsa, beans, lime, guacamole, or fresh vegetables. They can be used as fillings for tacos, burritos, enchiladas, or serve on its own. In its town of origin, carnitas are sold in street stalls, restaurants, but are originally meant for special occasions, such as Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, and so on. Number 6. Elotes Elotes and esquites are among the few Mexican foods not made from masa, which is used to make tortillas, tamales, and most other food. Elotes and esquitas are made with plain corn, which is different from the sweet corn you know. Elotes are corn cobs covered in mayo, chili powder, crumbled queso fresco, and lime juice, served on skewers for easy handling. Meanwhile, esquitas are made with the same ingredients, but are served in the form of a soup, which has the corn kernels cut off the cob and floating in the broth the corn was cooked in and flavored with some herbs. Finally, the elotas will be served with all the usual toppings, alongside the esquitas. 
Before moving on to the top five, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Want to find out the number one Mexican street food? Keep watching. Number five, quesadillas. Quesadilla is a general term that refers to a folded tortilla with melted cheese in it. Quesadillas can be made with corn or wheat tortillas and may be either deep fried or grilled. Other choices of making them include a variety of different cheeses, but the most commonly used is the Oaxaca cheese, in Oaxaca called quesillo, a mild string cheese that looks like mozzarella. They can also contain other fillings besides just cheese. Occasionally, they'll have mushrooms or squash blossoms and any other veggies. Another popular variant is the wheat lacoche quesadillas, which are made with corn fungus or corn truffle. Deep fried quesadillas often come topped with bean paste or guacamole, and the salsa is usually put on the outside of the tortilla. Where it has a toasted or grilled quesadillas, it is more common for it to be opened up for salsa to be added before eating. Number four, camotes. Camotes are local food found in central and southern Mexico. They are closely related to the holiday, Dia de Muertos, which literally means the Day of the Dead. Camotes are very important to the culture of the Mexican people because of the close ties it has with such a central holiday. They are pressure cooked sweet potatoes with condensed milk toppings, seasoned with chili pepper, strawberry jam, or cinnamon. Camotes vendors stand out because of the loud, high pitched whistles created by the cart they cook the potato in. Although this is traditional Mexican street food, they are mostly only found in or around Mexico City or its environs. Number 3. Nachos Nachos are from northern Mexico and consist of heated tortilla chips and totopos covered with melted cheese and are often served as a snack or appetizer. It could be elaborated to include other ingredients and may be substantial enough to be the main dish. Ignacio Nacho Añeja created this meal in 1940 at the Victory Club in 1940 when a regular customer requested something new and fresh for her and her three kids. Ignacio went into his kitchen and found freshly fried pieces of corn tortillas and decided to put his years of culinary expertise to the test. He added melted cheese and pickled jalapeno strips to the tortillas. He presented his latest creation to his customer, who tasted it and asked what it was called out of sheer delight. He replied and said, let's just call it Nachos is Special. Hence the name stuck and he went on to make more. Number 2. Burrito Burrito is a meal made of a wheat flour tortilla wrapped in such a way that it's possible to fully trap the flavorful filling on the interior. The filling is made up of a combination of various ingredients such as meat, rice, beans, lettuce, guacamole, cheese, and others. Burrito is the Spanish word for little donkey. It is generally believed that it stems from how the bed rolls and packs appeared on the donkeys that carried them, while others thought that the dish originated in the 19th century by either the vaqueros in northern Mexico, miners from Sonora, or farmers in California. Number 1. Tacos No conversation around Mexican street food won't include tacos. They are the most important item on the list of Mexican street food. Tacos are regarded as the national dish of Mexico, with its history dating back to the Mexican silver mines of the 18th century, when the word taco meant gunpowder that was wrapped in a piece of paper and inserted into rocks. Now, the word tacos signifies the foremost street food item in Mexico. Honestly, you could wrap just about anything and call it a taco, but generally, they are filled with meat and some more exciting body parts like eyes, brain, and tongue. There's a taco for everyone. Vegetarians have the option of choosing mushroom, potato, beans, or cheese fillings. Talos al Pastor are also a very popular tacos variety. They're made with marinated pork cooked on a rotating spit, a cooking method that was probably brought to Mexico by Lebanese immigrants. These tacos took on their own flair, with a wide range of spicy salsas, guacamole, and fresh onion, and topped off with cilantro. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. What Mexican food have you tried and fallen in love with? If you haven't, which one would you like to try? Let us know in the comments below.